the most significant changes that have taken place in the two sessions is the change in the structure of the Chinese economy. We saw this both in terms of the dual circulation announcements made several years ago and the idea of common prosperity. So let's pull those to pieces a little bit. Dual circulation. What's it designed to do? It's designed to reduce China's dependence upon exports for economic growth by encouraging domestic consumption. That's a change in the structure of the economy. And many people in the West have been calling for this to happen. And then they complain when it does happen and take this fall in exports as a sign of, a, of an economic collapse. The second is common prosperity. So President Xi is very keen to avoid the income disparity that we see in the United States. So we already have achieved lifting people out of absolute poverty. So the next challenge is how do you lift those people to moderate prosperity? This is the biggest challenge. How do we do it? We need to increase productivity. The way we increase productivity is by moving towards a digital economy. And that's the most significant features that particularly for foreigners, that have come out of the two sessions. The shift towards the digital economy, enabling the digital economy, moving to high tech, moving to green economy, green environments. The green economy, green environments are all consistent with what the West wants to see happen, but it's these shifts to the digital economy that are most important. The expansion of blockchain to use for cross-border transactions, the way that this feeds into the Belt and Road Initiative. So we have this focus on increasing productivity. And I suspect that many people in the West don't fully appreciate the importance of these changes that this signals for the Chinese economy.